Okay, third one is multiply. So first sum is 5.3 into 9. Now we are going to uh, do the first sum. 5.3 into 9. So 5.3 into 9. 9 3 is 27. 7 carry 2. So 9 5 is 45. 45 plus 2 47. So the answer is 47.7. What is the answer? 47.7. I'll repeat once again. 5.3 into 9. So first after the point we can call it as a decimal point. Before the point we can call it as a whole part. So now we are going to multiply 5.3 into 9. 3 into 9, 27, 7, carry over 2. 9 by 45, 45 plus 2, 47. The answer is 47.7. Next question, 8.4 into 11. So 8.4, 8.4 into 11. So 8.4 is a decimal. So we are going to multiply decimal with the whole number. So the first sum also the same. 5.3 is a decimal number. 9 is a whole number. So multiply decimal number with the whole number. So 8.4 into 11. So first we start with the what? First start with the decimal number. So 1 4 is a 4 and 8 1 is a 8. So again you have to leave the first digit. So this is a 1's place. So you leave the 1's place. So next one is 10's place. So 4 1's are 4 and 8 1's are 8. Now we are going to add. So 4, 8 plus 4, 12, 2, carry 1. This 8 plus 1, 9. So how many digits? Only 1 digits you have to move from the right side. Okay, that is called as 92.4. This is the right answer. 92.4. Next one is third sum. That is 24 into 0 0.9. So first we are going to what do the well first generally first uh, we are doing the decimal with the whole number here also decimal with the whole number we are mul we multiplied here so whole number with the what decimal the same almost so 24 into 0 0.9 so you have to multiply 24 is a whole number so it's 0 0.9 so what are you going to do so 9 fours are 36 first we have to multiply the ones place 9 fours are 36 carry over is go to this uh, go to the tens place value so 2 nines are 18 18 plus 3 21 first you should not consider the point first you have to multiply then finally you will do this and after that so the what zero is so you have to um, this is a whole number so zero into zero so ones place you left over so 0 into 4 0 and 2 0 0 so the answer is 6 1 2 so only one digit you have to move from the right side so so from the right side you have to move so 21.6 is the answer next sum fourth sum that is decimal with the whole number 0 0.04 into 5 so write the 0 0.04 into 5 decimal with the whole number. So first you start with the decimal part. After that we will go for the whole part. Whole part in the whole part the 0 is present. In the decimal point 0 0.4. Point 0 0.04 that is. So 4 5 is a 20 0. That is in, you have to multiply the hundredths place value. Hundredth. Hundredths place value. Then 0, 4 5 is a 20 0 carry over go to the tens place so 5 into 0 0 and 0 plus 2 2 and again 0 into 5 0 so you have to move the last two digit from the last from the right side you have to move two uh, from the from the right side you have to move the point so from the right side you have to uh, what left over two points left over two digit so not left over from the right side you have to move the points so 0 point two zero i've already told you so after the point after the point how many zeros are added or how many uh, zeros you join with that there is no value for the zero after the point how many zeros you are written how many zero zeros are written how many zeros you added there is no value for the particular zeros so just cancel the zero the answer is zero point two Now we are going to do the fifth sum. I just uh, start. 
3 2s are 6, 0 0.03 into 2, I have written already. So 3 2s are 6, start with the what, hundreds place, that hundreds, that is a decimal, start with the decimal part always. So this is hundreds place, this is tens place. 3 2s are 6, then again uh, 2 into 0 is 0 and 2 into 0 is 0. So from the right side you have to move the points. So from you have to what move only 2 points. From the right side you have to move 2 points. So answer is 0 0.06 is the answer for this question.